hear at least one Razo scream through the dark. So, um, well, we are in losers, so definitely you know, we're gonna hear just Summit going on. Now, one thing I know about Argon, I was playing him a lot earlier, and I actually lost him in winners. He likes to jump from the corner. He likes to jump a lot, and DDD I, I, can I punish see, that. I was seeing that a lot versus Kerbal as well, actually. Yeah. Um, so, so he does need to be careful of that because Kerbal was just killing him fairly early because of that. He was making it look like Kirby had more range than Chrome. It was. It, it'll be a lot of just um, poor decisions can just cause yeah. to just show yeah. a lot of it. And oh my what, god! What we're seeing very early, like literally uh, super early on um, is straight away Razor was using Gordo to condition shield and then immediately mixing up to using Hail to capitalize on that. Definitely, we've been seeing that so much. And what also we've been seeing is um, Chrome with Chrome jab. It just tears quarter apart in yeah. neutral. If yeah. you're in these situations where you're just waiting like we're seeing Argon doing, but instead. And now we're seeing um one of Razzle's favourite things to yeah. do in this ma in the Chrom matchup is catching Chrom recovery yeah. with down B. Yeah. And I think we are going to see it here every well, time. What you're gonna the big thing is people people think for some reason that down B is like wallop punch levels. And it's not, it's a genuinely good move. It's because it has super armor. It has it's super armor, massive range and you can turn it around and it's not fast but for a mood that has all those things it's not slow <laughs> yeah and also like it's also what you're saying is like how it's not fast and when you're using it exclusively in shield and he just sd'd yeah, but when you're using it in um ledge trapping situations yeah. oh my god <laughs> and we see that we nearly saw a donated stock by razzle he sued the shield and just let him walk up to him <laughs> but now razzle's a stock up we're gonna be seeing something something fun happening I want to see. I yeah, we're just gonna just see a death. So. See, I feel like Razzle's not the kind of player who, even with a lead, he is not going to take his time too much. He, he'll he'll play smart. Don't get me wrong. But he he's is the kind of player who will get impatient and will just be like, no, I just want to end this now. Yeah, hundred percent. Both for better and for worse. And I mean, he took seventy nine percent because of that. So already. And despite how rough that start was looking, Argon's not really getting hit right now. So what I've noticed about Argon is his um, his adaptation is some of the fastest I've seen from like a lot of these new players. Like I say newer players, I don't know how long Argon's been playing, but he's been new to, to playing in our events. And Argon adapts so quickly and he starts capitalizing on like what is just will be the best way to capitalize it. He just seems to know what to do, missing just Missing out on getting that dash attack would yeah. have been so much. I, I think that's the big thing that's separating like the Carbos, the Argons, and I know Jodgers is a bit of an older head than that. But even like Jodgers, like those t that upper echelon of players is how quickly they can adapt. Like you'll see, Carbo can adapt mid game. Jodgers is started to adapt in mid game a lot more now, and you're seeing it with Argon as well here. It's like it's just the problem is. How do you kill DDD? <laughs> Even as Chrome, it's you need to get one of these these stray hits. But the thing is that you will need to get one of these strong hits. But the thing is that you never need to interact with the strong hits of DDD. As we see there, you're just gonna get punished the second you get put off stage, which is just yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you, Neem. Didn't realize it was heavy armor. Thank you. Yeah, he. W I feel like though, Argon really adapted closer to the end there. So we cannot, despite the fact that that was a two slot, you definitely can't count him out. A hundred percent. You can never count him out. And also, what we're seeing as well is that we're going to see. We've been seeing Argon kind of slowing it down, trying to trying to work with Gordo's but Bear still not working out as much. But we're seeing a lot of change, and Razzle hasn't quite hadn't quite adapted to that yet. But now, now that we're starting into this new game. Oh, okay, my food. Yes, I can eat. <laughs> Cool, well, go, see you go, later. And we're off! And it's, I'm still, okay, I'm not unmuted or anything. So, so, just in case you didn't see any of game one, um, Razzle started off super dominant, and it was a two stock in the end, but Argon was starting to oh. adapt by the end. So, there's your TLDR of the first game. Okay, and this one's just started now, right? Yep, this is just the start of game two. What stage did they go to on the last game? Uh, PS2. Okay. All right, uh, I can work with this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I can. I quite like the battlefield pick here, honestly, for Com in this matchup. Um, um, that upper 
is free tacos already on DDD and especially on this stage, Hansen will be. I kind of agree, but at the same time, I think that Chrom's gonna like. Chrom's probably gonna get a lot of punishes and long combos and juggles on DDD anyway, and it's a big stage, so this is just encouraging DDD to yeah, win like 200. Yeah, that's a fair point. That is a fair point. And so, that was like the big issue Argon was having, even when adapting near the end of the last game, was like. Razor was 170%. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. That happens. Yeah, th th it's just DDD. You just have to accept that. That you're, happens. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to accept that you're not killing a character that is simultaneously one of the fastest followers in the game and also one of the heaviest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's, he dies the latest off the top because of that. Yeah, I think so. Like, even that Kong F Smash didn't do it, and Kong's F Smash is stupid. Yeah, I mean, like, he's. <laughs> Razzle's chilling here. He's yeah. just he's just taking his time. 135, it's just like every other day. Yeah, I think what Ali and I were saying about this matchup is just it it's real ledge trapping, honestly, for Razzle. Like the he like he's not gonna die for ages, and Crumb's recovery obviously being his biggest weakness, and DD's ledge trapping probably being DD's biggest strength. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's a matchup where you are gonna have to play ridiculously patiently. This is this is pretty much. I think. I think uh, this best is best of three. Is, yeah, because it's still losers. We just have not updated the thing in ages. Sorry, this is losers semis. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I think this is this is probably a matchup. This totally fine for Chrome, but you've got to play it perfect. Like you've got to play it perfect. I guess like a exactly. good DDD yeah. who's, who's gonna do the the correct things. Yeah. It's not yeah. easy. Yeah, Vazel. Honestly, kind of running away with this. We were thinking that, like, Argon was on to adapt a lot by the end of last game. Um, but he's just really is not able to get anything started here. He's just, he just needs to seal it out, and he's not. Back here! There we go. Yeah. Back is gonna do it, but. Spiffing back here. If, if he's not able to kill any earlier than he has been, it is looking like this could just be the end for him. This is at this rate probably the end. He's got like yeah, two stocks to take. Ne never mind, just two full DDD stocks. Yeah, exactly. Like, it could take a while. Really good catch. Uh, the big thing I think Argon needs to take advantage of is Razor is a Hunset, the kind of player who, no matter if he has a lead or oh, not. Oh, that'll do oh, it. Never mind. Yeah. But I was gonna say is Razor is the kind of player who, no matter if he has a lead or not, he is not going to really slow things down because he just wants.